Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add a store page in Wix. But before we start, hurry up and check out latest stuff for just under this video. So let's get started. This case for you to add a store page into your Wix website. What we need to do first here is we need to access our admin page. So in this case, go to Wix.com, log in into your account, and from here you want to go and click on the edit site at the top right of your screen, either in the setup or home page here. And once you click on it, you should be able to see your editor here. Now, all we need to do here is we need to go to the left side here, click on pages and menu. Now, from here, you want to go ahead and click on the add page option at the top right here next or in the same row as site menu. Let's go ahead and click on add page. Now, from here, you want to scroll down a bit until you see the store section. Go ahead and click on it and you want to go ahead and click on add Wix stores. Now, once you've done that, it should start loading up Wix stores here. So this might take a while, so wait for it to fully load up. And as you can see right now, we have now successfully added our store page. Now, in this case, if you want to further customize your page here, what we need to do next is we want to customize the products here. Because in this case, the store page here has some products that are, or in this case, just simple products, which in this case, you can still manage, or in this case, edit. We'll go ahead and click on Manage Products here. And from here, you have the option to view the products. So if you want to delete them by bulk, you could go ahead and just click on the top left here or the box here. And you could go ahead and click on the option that says the uh, option that actually allows you to delete them. So click on more actions and you want to click on delete. Click on delete and go ahead and click on new product here. Now, you get either choose physical or digital product here. So let's go and choose digital file here. And from here, you can go in and uh, basically add all the entire details. So in this case, you can go and upload the file itself. So for example, this is going to be, let's just say this is going to be an image. Now, in this case, is going to find our image and basically uh, 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 publish our product here. So in this case, it's going to click on upload media. Let's go and click on upload from computer and basically upload our photo. So this is just an example. You could upload any file that you want. So I'm going to choose this one, click on open. And from here, once it's actually fully loaded up, we could go ahead and basically proceed on adding this product here. Let's go and choose this one, click on add to product. From here, add the basic information. So for example, this is going to be a sample digital product. And from here, you could go and add all the entire details like categories, description, images or videos of the actual product and pricing for it. So for example, this is going to be around, let's just say it's going to be $5. This is just an example. So we also have the inventory and shipping here if you want to track your inventory. But once you're done, you can go and click on save at the top right here, assuming that you filled out all the entire details. Now, as you can see, since we've added all the products here, we could go and exit this one. And in this case, you could go ahead and basically wait for it to reload. As you can see, we now have our sample digital product. Now, same thing with other Wix pages here. You could change a few things. So if you want to edit your, like for example, category page here, you can go ahead and click on settings and change a few things if you want to, like the settings, layout, design, text, list, filters, sorting, and quick view here. But in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.